All right, it's Monday the 10th of July. What have we got in store? We're going to be doing two things today. We're going to be sorting out that side with a cut and we're going to be sorting out this side with a scarify. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our hair to mower out. This is a rotary mower and what we're going to do is we're going to pick up all the leaves that have fallen but we're going to mow against these double stripes. So we're going to come down this one and back up this one. This is just going to reset it because it's just starting like last time just to grow laterally in that direction with the actual stripe that it's growing in. So we're going to stand it back up on itself and then mow it again the other way and that'll reset it. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the Hater Harrier 48. If you've not seen it before, it's a great mower. This is the Pro model. The difference between the Pro and the normal is the Pro is silver and the normal ones are green, but the Pro ones come with a metal roller. So for people like me who are mowing daily, perfect. So what we'll do is we'll put it on number three, which we're already on, and we'll go on here, and let's say we'll mow back on ourselves, and we'll pick up the debris whilst we do it. Let's get going. All right, we're just ready to go on with the cylinder. Now, what I noticed was, which is quite worrying, we've got quite a few worm casts developing already and it's only July, so hopefully this isn't the start of things to come because usually if this starts now, it's game over by August, the lawns are all ruined just because then worm casts have already started early. I think it's, it's been so dry and then it's been so wet. I think maybe they think there's a bit of autumn coming maybe. I'm not sure how they work, but generally that's how it goes if we have a really wet, summer all the way through they don't normally tend to come out till later on in the year so I'm not really excited about the prospect of having loads of worm cats all over these lovely lawns so what I've got, got is got it set to 22 mil which is where we're at on this lawn just with the heat that we've got at the minute I'll just leave it a little bit longer so let's get to it we'll just like I said before we're going to mow against what we've just created and then we'll reset our stripes going forward Right, so that's that side done. Now you'd think, after being off all weekend, I've had 72 hours to charge my battery, but I haven't done so, so I've been plugging it in for five minutes there, five minutes there, while I've been using it today, and I've just nearly ran out, so I managed to get that done. But we don't need this over that side, so we got away with it. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I charge it, and this is my fear with the electric stuff, is that I'm not disciplined enough to plug it in at night, to remember to take it out, because when I get in, it's out of the van, shut the door, in-house, that's it, done. So we'll see how we get on going forward, but I must start remembering. Okay, so we'll just have a close look. Now it's just beginning to lose its colour a little bit because it's a few weeks now since it had a granular treatment. So what we'll do is, we'll do the other side today and then we'll have the results catch up next week or in 10 days. And whilst here, we'll do the same, what we're doing over the other side on this side and give this a feed and everything. And we don't need to see the results. On here because we've already seen the results and we know how good it gets but I'll always post things in my Facebook group and on Instagram I've started trying to do a bit on there as well okay so this side is looking a bit sorry for itself just because of the drought that we've had we could only concentrate on the one side so we just decided to keep this watered and let the feed that we put on go through and then we can start a fresh Arangsty earlier on about something else unrelated to this and he said, hey, I will not tell you what he said, but he said, hey, Dan, that other side's looking beep. So we were sorting it out anyway today. It was just raining at the time. So it's just coincidence that he should mention it because it is. Not going to lie, it is look what he said. Begins with S. Um, so we've had also a bit of disease. So because I've got a license, I have sprayed that with a fungicide 10 days ago. We had brown patch, we had anthracnose, we had a bit of red thread. So I've sprayed that and it started to knock it back. So what I didn't want to do was scarify. Well, that was kind of at its height to risk spreading it around. So just put the fungi side on. Now we're in a position to scarify without doing any damage and we'll get it fed, sprayed, 
and then this is going to see a great back end of the year. So let's get the scarifier out. If we're going to really go to town on it, we can be quite aggressive on this side. It's really well anchored, really thick lawn, needs thinning it anyway. And then we can get this look in spot on. All right, so let's have a look, closer look. You can see now we've thinned it out quite a lot. So what we'll do now is we'll get our hater out and we'll just hoover this up while cutting it. Double stripes and then, yes, we can get our feed on quite accurately. I'm going to use Dan's Deep Green today. I'm going to give it its debut on the channel and we'll see what results we get. So time to crack on because time is getting on. It's 20 to 8. Started late because of the rain. But I didn't realise it was 20 to 8, I thought it was only about 6 o'clock. So I've been here longer than I thought, so uh, best get a move on because it'll be going dark soon. Okay, so we just cut that on number two. I've got my Dan's Deep Green in my hopper. It's an 18.515 MPK. No slow release nitrogen in there. It's all ammonia, so it's ready to take up straight away once it's broken down. And there's 2% magnesium in there for some color, extra green color. So what I'm gonna do is, just gonna put it on 29 and follow my stripes that I've put on. And we're gonna spread it, easy. And then it's going to rain after, and we're going to water it in without having to water it in. Okay, so that's the feed on, it's eight o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back tomorrow and get the liquids on. Well, let's just have a quick look at what we've done over here today. So we cut it against the original stripe, which was that way with the rotary. And then we went back over that, put it back with the cylinder and it looks spot on. Let's have a look up close. It's no sun, so we can get a good look without any shadow. Now I'm going to show you something there, so just hang on. What have I got to show you? The Alec Prism gauge. So we can see there, 
were around 20 mil. I mean, you could say, oh, I'm at 15 mil, or I'm at 25. So it's like, where do you actually read from? So you actually go right on top, and I think we're around 20 there. So I had it set at 22, but we're cutting, let's just say, oh, we're cutting at 20 there. So yeah, so it gives an idea. We know we're not at an inch anyway, and that is right into the ground. Really weird how these things work. I don't understand it. I, I just don't get it. How a prism works, how it can reflect that and that onto a surface and give you an upright reading. It's too much for my brain to comprehend. But yeah, so you can see the, where we're at. And I know a few in the group are saying like, oh, when I go like that, I've got all yellow. Well, so have I. It's just life. That's just what you get with grass, the, the yellow. And even if you go on Premier League football pitches, any time of year, they have the same. And that's why when you buy AstroTurf, now they start putting the little brown bits in to make it look even more realistic. So it's just part of a greenkeeper's life or a, lawn, a lawnsman's life is this necrotic stuff. And we get it out, scarify it and stuff like we have on the other side. You can see how much came out there. But this is looking really good. I'm really pleased with this side. And it just goes to show that with a good maintenance program of feeding a lot, you don't get the disease like you do over the other side where we let it go and not fed it for a while and stuff. So sometimes we have to not do something to see what happens if you don't do it. So we, on this side, we've really kept on top of it. We've got no issues. Other side, not done anything. We've got disease galore. So good maintenance program, keep disease at bay. So anyway, I'm off. We'll see you here tomorrow to get them liquids on. Okay, it's Tuesday the 11th of July. If you remember last night, I said we're gonna come back today and spray the liquid products that we want to put on, just because it was too windy last night. It's absolutely chucked it down overnight. It's just absolutely hammered it down now. It was bouncing off the road, but it's passed. Sun's out, wind's dropped, so we can get these on. What have we got in? We've got Dan's Magic Liquid Lawn Feed in there, which is gonna give us a nice hit of nitrogen and calcium straight away, because the plant can take it right up. We've got Grace in there, which is vitamins, which is gonna give us a great plant health, like just general plant health. We've got Stella in there, which is good for our roots. And also in there, we've got some slow grow, which is balancing it out. So we're not just gonna get all the nitrogen going into the leaf. It's gonna be able to transport it all around the plant so we don't get that big flush of growth as well. That's gonna come with the feeds that we've put on. So let's get on with it. All right, so that's all the products on. All we need to do now is let the rain do its work. As I mentioned earlier in the video, what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll do results in 10 days, two weeks time. And while we're at it and here, we'll do another video scarifying the other side because that'll be ready for that and for a feed and everything else. So if you've enjoyed this one, why not check these out? So you've got this one, this one, this one, and this one to look at. Whichever you want, just have a look. Uh, you might find something that is suitable for you. But what have we done here? We've done scarifying and we've fed it with the granulate and we put the liquids on just as a mid-season re micro renovation because it was just getting a bit thick. So we do that this time of year and then we get a good back end to the year. So we'll see you next time when we're doing something else. Long related. Bye for now.